Dr. David Kimbrough, and Dr. Randall Hughes work to unlock the secrets of the inner tidal zone, where the land meets the sea. We first met David almost three years ago, at the beginning. We were just starting a project. We were starting it with a whole bunch of people from North Carolina down to Florida. A lot of good friends. But really, the idea goes back further than that to when they were in college. We thought that it would be cool if we put our own ideas to the ultimate test. How important are these behavioral results that we worked on 10 years ago that we thought are really cool? They were awarded a grant by the National Science Foundation to test these ideas over the course of three years. Randall and David head the Florida team. This is Stonecrab Burrow. How much does this reef right here depend on the crab within it? To the small crabs and snails that eat oysters, a large predator is the monster of the reef. Eating oyster consumers helps the oysters to a point. It was more because the predator fish was scaring the crap out of the little crabs. It's not just localized right where the predator is having its snack. It goes, you know, considerable distances. Through various side projects, they explore the same dynamic in other ecosystems. The monsters may be different, but might the results be the same? There are so many other things that could determine whether or not you get a reef that looks like this versus a reef that looks like that. Things that range from how much food in the water is coming into the reef for the oysters to feed on, whether or not the currents bring oyster babies back to the reef to create a new generation of oysters. Are their ideas about the ecology of fear as important as these environmental factors? We just want to put them to the ultimate test. Do they really matter? In the Grass on the Reef is funded by the National Science Foundation. 